Hello and welcome once again, everybody, to the Independent Broadcast Network as we bring you Sunday, Sunday, Sunday coverage of the Hockey Question Mark World Cup. This is the first week of competition of the World Cup, and this weekend has been the first time that we have seen the North American teams take the stage, and we will see them again today. Team USA will be in action as well as Team Canada, and we'll get our first look of this World Cup at the Russians, and Team Ukraine is here as well. So two very good teams from across the seas coming to play North America. And I'm here with Dr. Killinger. This is Winners with One, by the way. Hello, and hello to you, Dr. Killinger. Hello, hello. Another great day of hockey. I think so, man. Fantastic World uh, Cup. Yeah, Team USA struggled a little bit yesterday. They they had some uh, a couple of tough games, and uh, but that Baltic Nordic team played very very well, even shorthanded and everything else. They were able to overcome them, and uh, we also saw Team Canada split a doubleheader with England, and so yeah, already some good hockey going on. And today should certainly be no different. Although, wow, if they had their hands full with those guys, they're definitely going to have their hands full oh, with doubt. these guys as well. Uh, these guys are the front runners to probably win it all. We're going to see if uh, Canada can pull off the upset, though. Yes, I we're about to repeat really the want. Summit Series, which I think what happened in like the 70s. So for the rest of eternity we are always going to have to say it's a rematch of the summit series uh, every time that russia and canada play and i think they're about to play Killinger. i think we're about to get this thing started you'll see oh they're, they're about for, to reset the server they're asking for a reset we'll find out but wow got, i can't believe it we're starting on time they've got three out of the four oh yep they're gonna reset one of the biggest stories so far of the and Chaos Auto Cup. immediately joins and cuts the timer down. All righty. Yeah, it looks like the teams are here. Uh, Russia has been here. And yeah, uh, they will be in red, it looks like, Canada in blue, at least for this first game. Uh, double headers on each of these, I understand. Though each team are, will be playing two games. Uh, that's how I understand it. That's how we did it yesterday, so we're going to do it that way mm -hmm. today. There you go. Fourth one. Zero Pin Gretzky joins for Canada. So we're going to get this underway. All right. You want to give us our lineups, man? We'll uh, see right. who we're up against here. In red for playing for Russia, we have Eartha, Igorka, Bale, and Ryan. And in blue, playing for Canada, is KS Auto, Sammy, Zero Pin Gretzky, and Bojerzine. Yes, some good lineups, and Russia was going to bring two teams, uh, and Eartha already. Striking early. All they need is one team, and E. Gorka gets the assist on that Eartha starting out early. We are not even 30 seconds into this first period, and already right, there's another one coming out to go big save. <laughs> Sammy manages to stop that one. Wow, again, a quick one. And another strike. He saves it again. Coming in again. And right in front of the crease. They are just all over them right now. Merciless. So lots of pressure coming in from Russia to start things off. Unsurprising, though, Killinger. And Canada is just in full defensive mode here. They're going to try and spread back out and get something rolling. Yeah, this Canada team, they are very offensive-minded, but they also play very good defense and uh, they're, they're a very physical team, as one would expect from a Canadian hockey team. And they are really going to have to play these guys closely, I think, because uh, Russia, capable of scoring quickly, and their passing is impeccable. These guys can just put it right on the tape, board to board. They are so good at it. And it's always a treat to watch them play and to watch their national team. Hell, this isn't even all the best players they've got. I mean, we don't. I saw Kukler earlier. I don't know if he's going to play. Uh, Kukler's sort of like Fedorov and Pavel Bure he's, rolled into one. On he's the, on the bench right month. now, so you may see him later. Maybe I would not game. be surprised. Yes, definitely some uh, a deep bench for the Russian team, and certainly no slouches on this Canadian team either. And they will need some scoring output from guys like KS Auto 
who is uh, definitely a sniper in his own right. And trying to work something out here is Bojarzine, another great scorer for Canada. And he is putting a lot of hassle on Bale there, but finally the puck cleared out, and now Russia will start from center ice with it. And they are continuing to just time. go ahead and launch them from distance. And a lot of those go in. They, they are very good at those. And this one, just a little wide to the right, is going to go back around the boards, picked up. They're going to hold it in here. Over at the faceoff circle, Canada trying to dig this out. And finally, they do zero ping Gretzky with the uh, dump in attempt. He's going to go ahead and send this back down. Bale will handle it. And they try to hold that in at the point. And Russia is just going to skate right past them there. E. Gorka. Another great player from Russia. And look, again, the passing. And that one bounces just <laughs> over the stick, though. And it was a lucky break for Canada there as he was set up right there on the doorstep. And so now they will set up again. Shoot. And oh, what a save. Again, Sammy is uh, very strong so far in the net and has had to be and will have to be throughout this whole thing. And it gives him a chance to go to the other side. Bale making a save of his own. And so the goalie's getting involved early and often here in this first game, in this first period of Hockey World Cup action here on Sunday. Yeah, we've been. this is a every weekend thing for the next few weekends, Killinger. A lot of hockey going oh, on. Oh, no, caught worked. out of position. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sammy came out to play it and just and he got deked, really. Just Igorka just went around him. Bounced off the inside corner of the post. Igorka there to follow it in. And he makes it two to nothing in favor of Russia. And this could be a larger score margin than that. But it's been a testament to this uh, Canadian team so far. They've been able to keep them off of them as much as they have. But Russia, when they strike, they strike quickly. So we'll see what they do with the puck here as E. Gorka and Ryan behind the net going to work here. Under a minute left in the first. And Canada will try to bring this out, taking their time in doing so, giving Ryan a chance to catch up with the puck, take it back at the dot. A little body action going on there, collisions going on. Whoa. And there's a one that gets blocked, and it's going all the way back to the other side <laughs> and bounces in front, almost an opportunity for KS Auto there to get a clean shot at the net. But it is handled and sent back down. So Eartha... And Zero Ping Gretzky fighting it out here. Chance in front, though. Beautiful pass and shot and score. E. Gorka with his second of the game. And Eartha just caught him coming in. A nicely done pass and shot. And it results in a big goal again for Russia. 16 seconds left in the first period. And unsurprising to most international observers, they are up by three as we go to the close of the first period. And maybe more. Here's another chance. In front. Oh, and this one just wide to the right as they are definitely getting the opportunities. And they're going to fling one more at the net before time runs out. But that is going to be all the scoring we will see in the first period. And that's that's really all they needed to get a 3 nothing lead. Oh, yeah. I said merciless. Striking early, striking fast. And repeatedly. <laughs> Yes, very merciless. Very much like uh, Dolph Lundgren in, in Rocky IV. <laughs> yes, you, I will break you, yes. I must break you, yes. Oh, uh -oh. he broke him again. E. Gorka <laughs> wasting no time off the draw. Nine seconds in to the period, Kellinger. Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> hey, what can you do, right? And uh, this is a very solid Canadian team. And uh, no strangers to the international stage are they. But, yes, Russia, um, by, they've uh, really got an advantage internationally. They've been playing this game a while. Eartha oh. with his second. And that one just uh, slow and low along the ground. Uh, difficult to see. Screened off, Sammy. Starting to and feel the pressure, five to Sammy. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah, the, these guys had uh, the one of the first leagues of uh, organized play and for hockey question mark, and they have uh, really had the experience over the years of playing, and it is showing. And then again, Eartha <laughs> in traffic once again, 
and take advantage of it. That is his third, the hat trick for Eartha. So it makes it six to nothing. And we are seeing the might of the Russian juggernaut on display. And there's another chance again. Sammy, he is up to the task. That one stops it. And it's going to redirect to the corner here. But, wow, they are really on their heels here as Russia putting the pressure on Team Canada. And, yeah, when we first started getting into this game, this game being Hockey Question Mark, of course, by Cryptic C. You can get it for free at HockeyQuestionMark.com. But when we first started playing Conjure, I know we, we, it's a, it's a, a joke now to us. Uh, Big save. Because we say it all the time. Uh, one of the first uh, players came in and said, why are you playing this? This game is for Russia. And left. And mm-hmm. we found out over the course of playing the game that it, it seemed like it was very much indeed a game for Russia because they are so good at it. So good at it. And they are definitely the uh i would say the top ranked team oh and again there's another shot in this hockey world cup they are going to be the team to beat especially since they are not divided into two teams as there was talk of doing there is just one uh solitary russian federation team and boy howdy are they ever good and there are seven teams in the hockey world cup representing international players from all around the world and that, that's been just a wonderful thing, Killinger, just to see mm-hmm. the international community step up and to see all these players coming in. Here's another chance. Sammy getting back in position, but Eartha, as soon as he got in, saw him uh, open up that left part of the goal and takes advantage of it with a nice shot. Fourth one on the board for Eartha, seventh on the board for Russia. Oh, my. They are pouring it on here. Two minutes left in the second. And Canada, in this first game, I don't know, is a comeback possible with uh, seven goals? We'd say it's technically it's possible, yes. But, wow, if they keep playing with this sort of offensive pressure, with this sort of possession of the puck, and uh, the passing, oh, the passing is just sick. And, again, waiting at the point, the shot, the save. Sammy got that one. And 146 left. They will finally clear this thing out, and it's going to go all the way back down. Uh, Bale, is he going to stay? Yeah, he's going to stay in the net and let Eartha handle this. Bojarzine is there as well, trying to get something going for Canada. About a minute and a half left in the second period and a seven-goal lead for this Russian team. And they are looking every bit as strong as people were expecting them to look as uh, Skip Bayless and all the people on ESPN were talking about. And here's another chance in front. Backhander. Oh, he's here. That's cars. Down low with some pepper on it. Ryan with his first of the game. Everybody from Russia getting involved now. Eight to nothing. Your score. Off the draw again. Gets around a couple of people. Dodges, weaves, shoots. Save by Sammy. Sweeps it out. And a nice save there as he had to beat him off right there on the draw. That, that was a very tough save to have to make as he managed to get through their entire defense right off of the faceoff. Under a minute left to play. Again, there's that pass in front. They are so on it, man. They get right in between those faceoff circles and set up those one-timers, and there's always somebody getting into that slot position, getting ready to make that shot, and it is paying off for them. And just watching how they move the puck is a thing of beauty. Here's a shot, and this one is going to be blocked. It will go back down to Igorka. 24 seconds left. He's going to send it in front, and this one shot just wide to the left. Looks like they got a little bit of a uh, deflection on that. So 14 seconds left, still holding this in. No signs of stopping, and will Canada be able to get it out? Oh, somehow he managed to get that back on his stick and score. Oh. Ryan, oh, ho, ho. Sam, got spins a piece of around that and drills it. You got a piece of it, but it wasn't enough. Oh, my. A very convincing performance by the Russian Federation so far, I must say. And th- this is, uh, I don't think even Paul Henderson could save uh, Canada at this point. They, no, they may I have think to... uh, Vladimir Putin would have to shut off all the internet in Russia. <laughs> and then maybe the Canadians might come back from this. I hate to say it. I know, I know a lot of those guys in that Canadian team, they're good guys. They play hard, but they're 9-0. Whew. 
There we go flying around the arena. Yep, it's going to be picked up here by the Russians. And we'll see if uh, Canada makes any changes for this second game. Uh, the, and I see Kukler joining the server. He may be getting on for Russia. If not in this game, then probably in the next game. And there's another one in front. And he's just waiting there in the crease. Somehow they were, that is very un-Canadian to let a guy just sit there on the tip of the crease and wait for it. But they were not able to body him out of there. So some good shot opportunities coming for Russia again here in this third period. Canada is going to hold it in and try to make a move here, though. And again, uh, we can't discount how Russia plays defensively as well. Ooh, as, oh, there, that almost went in. Almost. Almost <laughs> doesn't count in hockey, but... Yes, uh, one of those off-speed shots flying through the air, and it looked like Bale got enough of that to stop it. And, yeah, I'm starting to see a little bit of lag here. I don't know if, uh, if the players are as well. Hopefully not too much. As that, That's uh, one of the issues with international play, of course, is, is ping and uh, j the server choices and, and latency and all those things that are uh, Internet uh, mainstays of uh, problems that you're going to have regardless in international play. And there's one off the post oh, oh, oh. and the, the right rebound attempt the almost. He swung and missed there on the second attempt. And so no scores so far in this. Look at that, batting it out of the air like that. that Getting landing wow. it right in the middle there. Incredible <laughs> stick control from these Russian guys. And now here is Ertha down in the corner. He's going to look for Ryan. This is going to go past him, though, and all the way back to Bale. No, Igorka there to intercept this one and play it out. And now they will set up on their offense again. Two and a half minutes left in the third period. Sitting comfortably with a nine-goal lead is this Russian Federation team. And they are uh, looking very strong here. And we will be seeing a doubleheader of these two teams. So, yeah, it will be an interesting thing to see if Canada makes any adjustments as far as uh, lineups. I, I don't know who is here from their bench. Oh, oh but Eartha. Well, they've got F -Cop Skating backwards got... now with the Michael Jackson, Billy Jean kind of move there. The fifth goal for Eartha. And double digits now for this Russian team. Two minutes left. And, yeah, I think, uh, you know, I, I'm not a prognosticator of renown, but I would say that there's a pretty good chance they're going to win this game. I would have to agree. I would definitely have to agree. <laughs> so another chance and he gorka wastes no time as soon as he got that on his stick buries the top shelf where mama keeps the cookies fourth for igorka 11th for russia and yeah so just uh destroying the hopes of canada for this game at least uh further with that one and there's one that is blocked as the Ooh, shot goes dangerous. and it went all over the place dangerous and, oh that almost zigzagged its way into the net canada's trying to get a point on the board i think uh that would be a moral victory at this point it would definitely give them some confidence and uh give them a little bit of jump for this next game that they're about to play but so far they have not been able to find the goal just yet uh, a couple of close opportunities but yeah russia playing very well on defense i think that sometimes the best defense is a good offense and you're, you're seeing it right here and mm -hmm. uh th they're keeping the puck they're they're making great passes that they, they have great awareness of where each other is going to be on the ice and, and that really is eating up time off the clock and when they're not spending that time scoring goals they are spending that time just holding on to the puck finding each other in space and so far it's been working very very well for them 11 to nothing uh, to the tune of the, that's how well it's working <laughs> well, yeah so about 30 seconds left here i think like you said canada would just love to get at least one good shot here here's their chance no nope. oh, but a big save oh. as bale swats this one down and sometimes that's that's how it is with goalies man you don't have to make a million good saves, but you have to make those two or three quality saves to preserve the win. 
Not that uh, there was not much preservation that has to be done at this point, I suppose. But 11 seconds left, and Canada is still trying to get something on the scoreboard before we go to this next game. And, nope, they won't be able to do it. So 11 to nothing, your final score for this first game of Hockey World Cup we're playing for today on the Independent Broadcast Network. Yeah, I just hope uh, the Canadian guys don't get too discouraged and come out and play a good game next game. And that's what you got to do. Just forget that ever happened. You know, maybe learn some lessons from it and move on. You're right, man. As someone who's uh, played a lot of goal, the best thing that you can lose is your short-term memory, which is a good thing that, well, never mind. But anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's good to just kind of be able to forget about the things that have happened to you and concentrate on what is ahead. And Canada, definitely, they have the wheels, they have the players, they have the goal-scoring ability, and I, I have a feeling they're going to try to keep this one a little bit closer, and we'll see if they have any luck. However, they may be in trouble here, as I see Kukler is joining, and it looks like everybody except uh, Bale maybe the lone holdout from this uh, original first game as they are changing the lineups for Russia. Let's see, even uh, Mozilla is in for Russia. Okay. Yeah, Mozilla's been doing some casting, we saw. So mm. uh, I'll have to check out some of Mozilla's casts. <laughs> Bo says, don't beat us, please, with a heart. <laughs> anyway, uh, they're they're so nice, the Canadians. Before these Russians start scoring points, so I can talk. In red, playing for Russia, we have Doctor Pivo, Bale, Mozilla, and Kukler. And in blue for Canada, we have Sammy, Zero Ping Gretzky, Mister Universe, who's being brought in new for this game, and mm. and our good friend Bo. Yes, a uh, good friend of Friday Hockey there, Bo. As uh, Mr. Universe, uh, usually a guy that we see in the net a lot, and he is up front doing some uh, some forward here. And, yes, yeah, so definitely they have made some adjustments, and they will have to do so as Russia, even with a different lineup, they do not lose a step. And look at Mozilla. Oh, oh, oh man. And he just uh, chips one in beautifully those are just at such a height level that they are very difficult to stop for a goaltender even someone of the caliber of sammy and so russia starts where they left off in this last game and it is a one to nothing lead so equaling the score line that was uh there in the first game remember they were they were at one to nothing at least for a little bit yeah, well, that, that's true. Not for long. Not for long. Not for a little, little bit. bit. <laughs> and here they go again. Oh, Kukler! <laughs> oh, man. This guy is something else. And we have seen some ridiculous goals from Kukler in the past, even in the games that we have uh, covered for, in the Russian uh, oh, leagues and stuff. Almost there. That one went off the post. That was as close as Canada has gotten so far. And again, but see immediately the passing coming and Russia there. And they've got people waiting for those passes. So, And then one gets away at the point there. Somebody's there to follow it up. Another chip shot. This one just a little bit wide to the right. Will be followed around by Mozilla. Mr. Universe is going to try to block that passing lane. And they're going to get a chance to move this. Bo has got it. And will he? Uh, no, he is being played very tightly on defense there. And the Russia will take this back. Back at center ice now. And see, they know that they're going to, in between those two lines there, the red line at center ice and the blue line, uh, pretty much anybody on that Russian team can score from anywhere along those uh along those lines and oh, yeah. so whenever they get the puck 
in that area, you will see a heightened sense of urgency from the Canadian defense. And just like here now, and you see him uh, trying to patiently pick his way around people. Two guys on Kukler, and they are going to get it away. Bojarzine with a shot and knocked down by Bale. This one trickles in front, and he has to swat it away before the follow-up attempt comes in. And again, right there on the wing is Mozilla. He's got time to shoot and does. This one is just a little bit over. Did that get – it looked like it clipped a little piece of the cross bar and here's a shot sammy with the save well done that one was uh, very dangerous he got just the piece of the stick onto it and managed to stop it cold so this one a little bit closer so far at least as canada seems to be finding their uh, confidence a little bit more and they're looking more like the canadian team we are accustomed to seeing but i think any team you could pick you know anybody in the world and put together an all-star team and they would be hard pressed to beat a uh, straight up russian federation team because these guys uh, definitely individually among the highest skilled players and just the way they their understanding of the game their their ability to translate that into the mechanics of hockey question mark is uh, unparalleled and so far uh, making it known for anybody that didn't know here in this hockey world cup and now it's a little bit of a spin move as he's trying to figure out how to settle the puck onto the stick where he wanted it there a little pause in the action as things slow up a bit and canada could have a chance to re catch up this oh but a big stop oh, wow. defensively as he followed him in and i believe that was kukler yes or, or was that mozilla it was mozilla yes as he is able to another big pass and room in front shoots and scores kukler with his seconds with the assist from mozilla and so in the first period 20 seconds remain and three goals for russia and so it's looking a lot like that last game killinger even though the lineups have changed somewhat the score line is looking very similar and that one is uh going to be handled easily by sammy and they try to get one across in the slot not in time we will go to the second period three to nothing again as russia looking pretty good here in this hockey world cup i dare say that's a pretty fair assessment remember they uh end of the first end of the first period last game they were up three to zero so very consistent performances Yes, they are nothing if not consistent. Yes, certainly. So, off the opening draw, Canada trying to move this into the Russian zone and does as they will follow it down. We'll see if they get a little bit more uh, up-tempo on offense. The only problem with that is that you leave yourself open defensively. So, they may not be willing to do that. And left open defensively here. Big save. And Sammy got it. Does he know where he is? Yeah, he got it there. And so now the rebound attempt, shot wide to the left. And, yeah, Sammy with a big save. And that was one of those. Uh, in this game, you can't uh, you can't stop the puck and freeze it for a whistle like a goalie would often do. So sometimes that makes for some anxious moments in the crease for goaltenders. And an anxious moment there as the puck went all the way around the rink. Bale oh. took it out. And now Mozilla will handle it. He's going to be looking for Kukler there on the wing. Dr. Pivo scooting down in front, and he's going to carry this down. And again, he's good. Oh, they're settling it right into the slot. And the backhander stopped Mr. Universe with a nice play trailing on defense there. The back check is going to take this away from him. And now just digging it out of the zone, and Canada trying to move it in they do at least get it across the blue line but here it is switched up and who will get to this first it's a race mozilla will be there on the scene gonna send it back around to dr pivo chance in front sammy with the save again i have lost track of how many saves that sammy has made but it's been plenty so far oh. and there's one from long distance Googler. hello russia calling from way downtown and the hat trick for kukler makes it four to nothing oh lordy oh lordy 
<laughs> yeah, but does it. There you go, Sammy. And again, and Sammy with the save. And he waves this one away, but the puck's still lingering there, and you Pretty don't want dangerous. to give him too much time as Canada is starting to settle into a more defensive role here. Uh, uh, they have three in front and just trying to swarm on the puck. Here is one that is lifted back in, and Dr. Pivo will take this. Nope, they're going to circle around, and Canada will clear it out. And again, you see waiting uh, the, defensively that that back player setting up on defense is always uh, in a pretty good spot for Russia too. It seems like as to the opposite blue line, there's somebody right there to mm. just get it right back to somebody exactly. on their team. And here's one right back in front. Mozilla shoots and scores. Kukler on the assist. Mozilla with his second five to nothing. And this one is looking very much like the last one we just saw. But what a high level of hockey these guys are playing. They, they showed up to play. To play. Oh, yes. <laughs> they, the Russians did not show up to screw around. No. <laughs> it, it is not in their nature. That's, uh, yeah, Dolph Lundgren from Rocky Four. yeah. <laughs> Chance in front, and this one is uh, stopped. And there's a redirect that almost goes, and bodies in front are going to block this. So here comes Canada. But immediately rocketed around the boards, the blocked shot, and they will have a chance to steal this, perhaps. Nope, as a battle for it at center ice, and it's going to be Russia coming away with it. Oh. Dr. Pivo with the obscene angle there. Very driving oblique, through. yeah. Oh, goodness. I, I thought that was going that? to be a one-timer pass, but he went ahead and just took the shot from the uh, crazy angle. You know, yeah, almost you just, just a, level with the goal. Skip a couple steps and go straight to scoring points. Very well done. Yeah, so. And so, yeah, again, we're to, what we're just saying about the high level of play we're seeing here, uh, oh, man. 47 seconds left in the second period. And Canada, they have, uh, they're really taking a, a tough beating from this Russian team. There's no other way to put it, man. And uh, so we'll see what they can do. They uh, definitely are going to have to try to do something different. and uh, But, yeah, this is a great Canadian team. This is not that uh, that they're just uh, – there's that much of a skill level difference as far as individual skills. I mean, we've seen these guys do some amazing things on the ice. But the just a well-disciplined unit, this Russian team, and just the way they play as oh, a team. And Kukler. then they take advantage of things like that as Kukler gets the rebound attempt as uh, exactly. Sammy was just trying to get that out. And discipline it looked, and execution, yeah. But that, there's a one thing, individual effort type of thing there because normally in something in one of the North American leagues, Sammy would have been able to just lift that over the guy's stick. You know, you wait a little bit, you wait for him to come in, then you just kind of hop it over him. But a player like Kukler, he's just going to raise his stick up to that level and stop it and take it and put it in. And that's what he did. Seven to nothing as we go into the third period. And a clinic being put on here by the Russian Federation. And, yeah, we'll, we'll see what Canada does, man. That, that's uh, all we can do. And all they can do and all Kukler can do is just keep scoring goals. <laughs> that is his fifth. Yeah, he is by far Whoa. the highest highest goal scorer we have in this game. Mozilla with two is the only one right behind him. So wow. He's just in second place in scoring. And so with 420 left of the third, eight to nothing is your score line. And Team Canada, th this has got to be frustrating for them, especially after they had uh, such a good game yesterday against England. And Dr. Pivo is going to get a shot in front that goes in. That's his second of the game. And nine to nothing. Again, those passes in the crease, you know, put it on the net. Um, chase it in, follow it up, and that's good hockey, and that's how it's done. 
And they are showing us how it's done. Now I guess the question is, will they score more than, what, 11 in this game? Is that, yeah, we'll see. Uh, is that the... Uh, that's the high water mark right now. It's dramatic tension that we can uh, will this apply game to this. A higher or lower score than the last one. <laughs> Perhaps it'll be exactly the same. Who knows? Oh, it could be. But yeah. Here is Kanda on the move with it. And this shot is going to. He's got time for it. He takes it. And it's just a little bit behind the net there. So, Mr. Universe chasing this down. Kukler sneaking in, getting it away from uh, Sammy is Just not going to wait for Kukler <laughs> to get in and pull the trigger. And wisely knocks that one away. Comes out to play it. Wow. As the Canadians here trying to get something going on offense here. Yes. That, now, Just yesterday they, they split the doubleheader with England, and England, a very good team internationally. They are uh, definitely some goal scorers. And so it was uh, quite an accomplishment for Canada. I thought they were feeling pretty good about their chances yesterday after they won that second game. But here's another shot and a save. Sammy, he's had about uh, 75, 80 saves. <laughs> this game I, I no think I, if my math is correct uh, i could Somebody be off by a few but not many oh dr oh. pivo with yeah. a backhander top shelf oh man that is the hat trick for dr pivo and so 10 to nothing your score line and remember after this team usa will take on ukraine in another double header following this uh two minutes left in this one though and, again, right there on the doorstep is this Russian team. And Canada just having a hard time keeping them out of the front of the net. And when a team is able to camp like that, you are going to have trouble with them. And especially a team as good as this Russian team is and as good as they have been playing. So 134 left. Mozilla is going to take this at the point. Chips one in. It's a little bit wide to the left. Uh, I don't know if it was a pass or a shot. He's got people in front he was looking for as well. And they are holding on to this as people are flying around. Left left. Oh, look at that. Another beautiful pass. He just dropped it for him. And the shot. And this one, it looked like it got deflected. 110 left. Another shot wide to the left. Oh, and they are just uh, ping-ponging it back and forth across either side of the rink in front of this Canadian goal. So it is very difficult for Canada to mount any sort of offense when there's this sort of pressure coming on. But they do! They go. do the score! Right. Bojar Zine with the moral victory goal <laughs> for Team Canada. And they, yeah, the Canadian hero, Bojar Zine. As uh, French Canada <laughs> rejoices, oh, could this be the comeback? That he's got a chance in front, oh. and Bale is going to knock this one away. <laughs> so. Too much to hope for two. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a shot, though. Bale is going to stop this one easily, as uh, not much on that one As uh, by the time it got to him. So 26 seconds left. And, yes, finally a little... Uh, a little spring in their step, this Canadian team, as that at least they <laughs> didn't get shut out of this damn thing. Uh, so oh. Ten seconds left, and will Russia score again? I do not think so. Maybe, yes. Oh, so close. Four seconds, three, and they're just going to hold on to it. And good sportsmanship, the GGs come out. And 10-1, to 1, put it in stone, Russia takes both of their games against Canada in the Hockey World uh, Cup both, with authority. With authority is a good way to put it. There were 11 points scored in both of those games total. Oh, man, they Just, beat them uh, like the Cossacks <laughs> beat Pussy Riot, man. Aw. <laughs> but, yeah, in the first game, Russia went, went up 11 to nothing, and in this one it was 10-1. to 1. In both games, there's a total of 11 points scored. Wow. That's a lot of offense. If you know, even it if is. Because, I mean, if, that, if, that, if those games had ended, uh, you know, six to five, you know, the same 11 points just spread pretty evenly. And that's, you know, yeah, you but, look at that uh, and go, that's a high scoring game. But no, that's, yeah, that's, that's 
All on one side, man. Yeah, so. I don't think that any of the tiebreakers involve aggregate goals uh, for the sake of the other teams in the World Cup. Uh, let's hope not. <laughs> I see here not we have a single player on the ice right now. Super Kai 64, USA and Canada. <laughs> Super Kai 64. <laughs> Not sure who that is. Uh, or how long it's the else... dedicated wham kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm not sure uh, <laughs> which player that is, and uh, how long it'll take for them to get kicked. But uh... I would love for the dedicated wham kid to play hockey with us. Am I gonna score? <laughs> so. Uh... Playing the game of let's make my name as long and complicated enough to where the admin doesn't know how to type it and therefore has a hard time kicking me. Oh, and he's gone. Well, on the bright side, I'm earning a lot of uh, wrecked bucks from the IBM mm -hmm. bot here on our channel. Yes, we've been uh, playing around with our IRC bot. Yeah, hopefully I can uh, figure out more of that and get it fixed and stuff so we can uh, bestow some, wrecked books upon people. Add and some new features to the channel. Do some uh, betting and stuff. It, it says it has a wagering. It says it has auctions and raffles. So, yeah, we'll, we'll get all fancy with it here on the Independent Broadcast Network. Because there there is a lot going on with IBN. We are going to be covering a bunch of games coming up. Insurgency, the popular shooting game, we're going to be covering some of that as the Team Warfare League is getting into that. There will be announcements made about that very soon. Uh, several other games. Uh, Touring Car Legend, I am told, uh, Cryptic Seas Touring Car Legend, We'll have the online multiplayer installed soon for everybody that has uh, picked that up in the Humble Bundle or other bundles. Actually, you can still get it for 3 bucks at CrypticC.com, and it's well worth it. And so we will definitely be doing some Touring Car Legend races and uh, several other games that we are talking to. And, and then you just never know what's going to be on IBN these days. You know, Kendris was still streaming Dark Souls 2 at like 6 in the morning on Oof, IBN too yeah. the other day. He's a a very guy. difficult that have... game, I'm told, that Dark Souls 2. Yeah. I heard it's a good game, though. I've heard that uh, it's worth playing, worth watching, so. Yeah. It looked pretty neat, yeah, so. As it looks like I've, I've never played any of those games, but. It looks like we're underway here. As it looks, it like. looks like we are indeed. And not, not led. Shoots and scores. Team USA up one to nothing on Ukraine as we have oh, blabbered gonna, about nope. things nope. for. Oh. Of course. Of course. Yep. I thought, oh, yeah, we've reset. just been talking about bullshit, man. They've been two minutes have passed and then they score. But yes, this will be a doubleheader as the scrappy team from Ukraine takes on Team USA. So uh, these guys uh, have some pretty good players, too. We're told to look out for Dennis, that he is uh, ah. very, very good. And I'll get your lineups going He may here. be their kookler. In blue for Ukraine, we have Oracle, Dennis, Draxler, and Ricky. I'm a fan of Ricky. In red, for the United States of America, we have Toulouse, Not Lead, Luchik, and Tim Barrett. Yeah, great movie, The Story of Ricky. Ever seen that one, man? Uh, yes, actually I have. Oh, and Tim Barrett! Whoa! With the long distance call, one to nothing, and so this one, I think this one does count. I believe that does. So, Tim Barrett first well, on the board for Team USA. Ukraine in front here, and Ukraine not weak. They will uh, definitely be giving Team USA a tough game here. As Team USA, speaking of tough games, they really had some tough ones yesterday. So, they will be looking to rebound 
in this one and uh, come back with a vengeance. And so far, they are putting on some pretty good offensive pressure. But stolen, here is Ricky as he's got a nice pass here in front. Time to shoot. And Dennis oh. gets the goal as the initial save was made. It looks like he just turned the stick over, and he thought it was going to wave it wide, but Dennis is going to get that one. And so, yeah, they're, they're talking about you can't put a stick in the face in international play. That's a good rule. I agree with that rule. Mm -hmm. Of course, it also brings up the... Uh, Anything that isn't covered in the rules within the game is going to be one of those things that is sort of arbitrarily debated about. So, but did I really get the stick in the face or was the stick really towards the chest and, and those sorts of things? But hopefully no gamesmanship of that sort. Actually, uh, USA was calling that on themselves there. So, uh, good sportsmanship in the international play here again from team usa and that's always good to see so now they do have the puck in their own zone they'll try to work it out here and getting pressure from ukraine they're going to have a chance to shoot this as he's going to wrist one way over the net and so not led waiting at the red line for this it's going to go past him ricky is going to clear it away and switch it up to the other side. Draxler there with it. And Ukraine's passing looking pretty good, too. And their positioning, certainly, as uh, one guy's, it's, it's the give and go. You'll see one guy pass it and then go. And then the other guy passes it to him. And that works out pretty well. And here's a pass waiting for Dennis in the corner there. It's going to go just beyond him. And Tim Barrett is back there to take it. To lures in the net. For Team USA and Tim Barrett again launching from distance. from distance. This one Oracle is going to handle easily, though. He didn't have as much velocity on that shot as that previous shot. And also, he saw that one coming. I don't know if he uh, was prepared for that Tim Barrett shot previously. But either way, it is tied at one right now. So it's a pretty epic struggle so far as uh, and certainly a little bit closer than the two games we just saw at least for the time being things can change very quickly as far as scoring in hockey question mark as we have found out indeed yes very quickly one to one i mean it's a stereotype to say it but it is anyone's game it is indeed, and look at that. They uh, A little drop pass by Ukraine, and they are going to make a drive to the net here. And who is going to come away with this? Finally, Team USA does just clears this out and sends it all the way back to Oracle. I, I'm going to say Oracle. It's probably a uh, Oracle. That doesn't make as much sense to me. Of course, I, I, I don't speak fluent Ukrainian, so... Well, we'll go with Oracle. Or much fluent English, either, for that matter. Yeah. You know, blame my Texas education. Sorry, folks. Yeah, I'll vary from night to night. <laughs> day to day. But here's a chance. The shot, the score! Lujic finds the top right corner with that backhand wrister. And he gets an assist from Tim Barrett. And that was a very nice goal. So they are getting a little bit more of an offensive output from their team. This is something that they were struggling with yesterday. And Team USA is uh, in the lead, at least for the time being. There's a shot that Toulouse is going to make a jump save on. And 17 seconds left, still held in by Team UKR. They are going to hold on to it for a second. And USA may come away with this on the shot. Oracle going to come out and play it, though. And a good move to do so. Three seconds left. The shot coming in, not enough time. He will get the save on it before it goes. And before we go to the second period, we're looking at a 2-1 scoreline here. The yeah. Team USA with the lead. Yeah, they're uh, maybe getting back a little bit of their mojo they lost yesterday. We'll see. There's a lot of hockey left to play. Yeah, they needed some mojo. Pray for Mojo. 
Off the faceoff, it is Ukraine making a move with it. And now they're going to have to regroup in their own zone with it as Ricky and Not Led will pursue this into the corner. And picked up by Dennis on the wing. It's going to get away from him, though. And so now here is Tim Barrett. And he gets around him. And he's going to try to get around another player there. Stop, though, as Luchik will handle it, though. And looking in front, he's going to send one into the slot. Nobody there in time to do much with that, though. And so now this will go back the other way. It's a race to the puck. And it is won by Team USA, as it looked like Not Led got that one out of there. And circling around is this Ukrainian team. They're going to set up on offense here. The shot, and this one just wide and behind the net. And they will dump it back to the point where it is stolen. And Team USA on the move. Going to go ahead and flip one down. Chance in front, almost off the rebound there but not able to get it to go as they're waiting for it. Ricky waiting on this one at center ice and again stolen. And Team USA, they uh, play around with it a little bit and send one towards the net now. 3.30 left in the second, and things seem to have uh, kind of settled down a little bit here, Killinger, uh, as both these teams, uh, nobody wants to give – too much of a clear advantage to anybody so everybody just kind of waiting to pick their moment to do something and ukraine trying to do it here and this one goes across the crease as Tulurs followed it with a stick did not have to make the save after all on it but he saw it coming in all the way so now it is usa with it and they will switch it up. That's Luchik who's going to follow it to the faceoff dot, putting one right on and almost there with Ooh. the rebound attempt, almost as well. So they're definitely uh, getting more shots on the net, and that is a good sign for this USA team, especially. And here's a chance, though. Ukraine Draxler shoots and scores with some help from Ricky. And he uh, just trailed in and got behind the defense. I, I don't know if they saw him there. And when by the time they did see him, there wasn't much they could do. So he gets the shot and the score. We are tied at two. And that was a very <laughs> big goal for Team Ukraine. Yeah, it's just shaping up to be a good game here. No one was it really, really sure whether. And, the... and, and here's a chance. Team USA, they're going to look for the backhand now, and now everybody's just slowing down, trying to hold this in, and not led, kind of uh, staring at the lights for a second there, trying to hold this down, and he does get it, but it is taken away. And now sent back in, and Ukraine going to control it, Dennis with it, but they've got a chance for a shot here. He stops it, though, and Dennis, nice job on defense as he uh, saw him coming back, for the shot, and although he could not get to the puck, he could certainly get in between the puck and the goal. So here's a shot, and this one is just wide to the left. That one was very close. It was. As Ukraine almost had another one on the board. 124 left in the second. We're tied at two. So now here comes Team USA, and it will be swatted away. He's go oh, he got it stolen from him. Shot, and this one oh, it had a chance again. They are uh, just coming very close to that side of the net. There's been a couple for Team Ukraine that almost went there. So now Team USA with it, and will he have a chance to get the shot? Yes, he does. He has oh, room. Yeah. He shoots and scores. Lucic with his second. And that was another well-played goal. So Team USA, with a minute left to play in the second, they go up by one. Again, three to two, your score, as this one is uh, quite a fun game so far. Some great plays from both teams. And now here's Ukraine with the shot. And this one is over the net. It will go back into the corner, chased down, still held in. He will uh, circle around. He's a uh, look out. <laughs> they just separate him from the up, puck. Yeah. There he is. The good old fashioned collision. Yeah, just uh, some smash mouth hockey and uh, the good kind of smash mouth, not the uh, terrible uh, Broger band. You know, you're an all star. Yeah. No, yeah. No. Mm. no. <laughs> Tulur is definitely an all star with that save. And 10 seconds remaining. <laughs> 
it's going to uh, look about the same score wise, I think. Yep, sure enough. And there's a shot, but it is uh, a little too late, a little late to count. So three to two, Team USA is. Uh, this is definitely a Ukrainian team that is up for it, and, and they're looking very strong. Ukraine not weak, and the Team USA also not weak. They they are uh, definitely looking a little more confident than they looked yesterday, Kellinger. Oh, definitely a lot. They were having a. These guys were having trouble yesterday with a three man. That's right, three man. They were down a person. Baltic Nordic team, which that's played, right. Which in, in in fairness, Baltic Nordic team did play very very well. But uh, oh yeah. yeah, Migo Mipo and and Tom. Yeah, they they the have USA some goals. Had a scores. hard time, and they had a one player advantage the entire time. Oh, and the empty net as Slurs came way out there. But that was uh, enough to distract this one just wide to the right. So they seem to now have refocused a little bit here. They they certainly do, man. Uh, yeah. So sometimes a day can make a difference, and I see that there are a, a few different changes in the lineup. So sometimes it's uh, it's your chemistry too. I mean, mm -hmm. you can have some of the best players. And then, uh, and that's something Dial was talking to us a little bit about yesterday. It's not just picking the best players, and that's where people get, you know, it's easy to get your feelings hurt and stuff like that. But a lot of it is just finding that good combination. Do these guys work together well passing? Do they work well together, you know, on defense? And sometimes it may not be your best individual skill players that do that well together cohesively exactly, and yeah. so it's a matter of finding that chemistry and that's true of any kind of team sport i think but it's certainly true here and ukraine is putting a lot of pressure on the puck just kind of lazily floating dangerously around the crease area for a long period of time before team usa finally able to get this going in the other direction which they will do but now taken by ricky and he is uh, going to get a pretty good pass off here to Draxler. And it is stopped, though, as Team USA will take this Tim Barrett. He's going to move around a couple of people now. And, nope, still held in by Ukraine. This is going to go all the way back to Tlers. He will go ahead and send this back out to the point. And Team USA trying to get on the move here. But Ukraine doing a pretty good job of blocking the passing lanes, of stopping the breakout moves. And they're going to get a shot off here. And he follows it oh. in. Draxler shoots and scores. He, uh, the initial one just bounced off the post. But he followed his shot in. They always tell you that's a good thing to do, you know, for shoot it and follow your shot. And he follows up with a goal, tying this thing up at three. With 2.20 left in the third period, things are getting very interesting here in this first of two oh, games yes. between USA and Ukraine. And I think the USA is out here out for blood here because they really could use the wins in this series. After losing twice yesterday, oh man. Yeah, they, they really could use the wins. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure uh, how the points are totaled and all that and, and just how many damn games are playing in this thing. But it's a lot because I know that we're going to be here every Saturday and Sunday for for uh, at least three or four weeks. Yes. So, so be sure to join us, uh, follow us here on the channel and stuff, and follow us on IBN Casting. As uh, and just make plans to join us every Saturday and Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern for hockey action. There will be some, and it will be some very solid hockey action as the best players in the world take uh, the ice for their countries, their respective countries. And next week, I, I believe we will get our chance to see the Commonwealth of Independent States. That was uh, one of the teams we did not see so far oh, in. Wow. That's some guys from, like, uh, Belarus, I think, uh, Kazakhstan. I believe you're right, yeah. That's uh, so, my knowledge. I understand they have some pretty good players on that team as well. So, all these guys do. I mean, I keep saying, oh, oh yeah, that team's got some good players. We always say that. But uh, we're not lying. Oh, no.
by the time you get up to the uh, national level, everybody's oh. got good players. And several good passes and shot attempts there. Not going for Team USA, and they're going to give Dennis a chance to push this out on the wing, but he is bodied up and stopped before he can follow with another shot again. And now they're just going to back one, hand one towards the net. Toulouse is going to defend this easily. Send it all the way back down to Oracle, and he will dump it into the corner, waiting for Ricky. Three seconds left. That's not going to be enough time to shoot this one. So, yeah, we will go to the third period all knotted up at three. Mm. <laughs> That's a, it's, it's a good game. I, you know, I tried to tell uh, Migo Mipo and a couple other people yesterday a good game, and they didn't believe me. But that's uh, true. People should know to believe you by now. Well, yeah, just I in mean, general, Kellinger. In all fairness, I have a my experiences shot. here on Friday night hockey and stuff. There were one or two outcomes: either it was a good game or it's not a good game. So, yeah, I'm. I'm